Well, it sure doesn't look like much, but it turns out that this spot is the very site of one of the darkest moments in our state history. This is the actual site of the Salem witch hangings. And neighbors have suspected for years that they knew the truth. Tonight, as Shante Land shows us, they have actual proof. No, the markings on this map 1700. that 72-year-old Thomas Brophy has kept in his family. And this area here shows what was, as it says here, Gallus Hill. Coincides with what the city of Salem this confirms this week to be the exact site of the infamous hangings lives. of 19 people. It's the probable place of executions. From the 1692 Salem witch trials. How do you feel knowing that this right here is in your backyard? Uh, it, like I say, we've always kind of lived with the suspicion that it was. Brophy, whose family built and owned this house for five generations. This is the area over here that everybody is talking about. Walks us to the site. And this is what they call Proctor's Ledge. This, oh, is what you, okay. this is what you're standing on right now, this ledge. The homeowner tells me that this is the spot where the accused witches were hung. Many across town say they could see them hanging from this hill. If there was people hanging from a tree right here, they'd be definitely visible. It's definitely a dark part of our history. Salem's mayor, Kim Driscoll, confirms that no remains were buried or remain on the site. The colony accused 200 people of performing witchcraft. They later admitted that the trials and killings were a mistake. It's a pivotal part of American history, and it's informed our modern-day judicial um, undertaking. I think we're dealing with it in the right way by trying to memorialize those that uh, passed away. In Salem, Shante Lands, WBZ News.